Hey bud, Thomas here. This is gonna be the intro to my channel. So if you're seeing this, you've checked out my channel and I'd like to tell you a little bit about ourselves. So my name's Thomas. I'm currently in the United States Navy. Uh, I've been in Navy for a number of years. I'm currently a Lieutenant Commander and I'm stationed down here on the Gulf Coast as the PMR for the EPF class of ship here on the Gulf Coast. Awesome job working new construction, building ships, getting them ready for delivery uh, out to the fleet. So really exciting day job. But in my spare time, I do a lot with this. Uh, our channel is kind of focused around homesteading, farming, tractors, sawmills, stuff like that. Uh, the family also were involved in raising goats, chickens, turkeys, ducks, dogs, all that sort of stuff. Anything outdoor related, country, and just good wholesome fun. You know, my wife and I, we've got four children <laughs> of varying ages, and it's just a, it's a beautiful lifestyle we live out here in the country. We're not in a city, you know, I've been fortunate enough with the Navy to be moved around all over the world, but really living down here on the Gulf Coast in Mississippi has been one of our most enjoyable locations. It's country, it's not far from where we call home up in Tennessee, and it's just good, wholesome people down here, and we just love the area. The, the South uh, has a lot to offer. I know I have some subscribers up north who are uh, standoffish due to the heat and due to the venomous snakes. Uh, they're not that bad, and it's not that bad during the summer. Uh, one of my buddies up in uh, Saskatchewan, I always get a kick out of, he sends me stuff like, hey, look, it's, you know, negative 40 now. Yay. <laughs> Woo. But, again, back to the channel. I digress. So, the channel, again, we do a lot with sawmills. We do a lot with tractors, goat raising. We, wrote, we have dairy goats here on the farm, and we do building. And anything that really pops up around the farm that's video worthy, I like to film. So my sawmill story, which I've done in the past, and this is kind of a reshooting of that. I started off with my farm loss 1220 uh, back in about 2003 or so. I ran that mill for a number of years. Some of my parents build their home, rebuild a pre-Civil War era barn on the property, and I built a ton of deer stands. That's all I cared about when I was younger is deer hunt, deer hunt, deer hunt, and then build stands. You know, fast forward a number of years, we finally moved back here to the south, and we were afforded the opportunity to get a sawmill of our own. Uh, after purchasing a home, a tractor, a truck, all sorts of things like that, funds were a bit tight, so we started off with a uh, wood miser LT15 with a diesel. Great mill, ran that for about 15, uh, 12 months or so, and then I ended up giving that mill to my dad, and I upgraded to back going back to my roots. I went to a Timber King 1400 with a diesel. And at that point, this is roughly about 2018, and at that point, I thought the 20... Uh, to the uh, uh, Timber King 1400 was going to be the last mill I was going to buy until I retired from the Navy. Well, let's just say one thing led to another. That Timber King 1400 also, you know, since I got that mill, I was able to do larger capacity and, uh, you know, handle larger trees. Then I convinced my wife, hey, I need a larger tractor to cut these bigger logs in my bigger sawmill. So I did that for a while. Uh, and then the demand kept on growing and growing once people found out I had a sawmill and I was cutting for some other people. Then my wife's like, well, the sawmill's making money. It's like, if, if you can swing it, upgrade your sawmill so you're saving your back, uh, you're saving your own time so you're being able to spend more time with the family, and it's, it's just more relaxing uh, of a uh, sawing experience. So, again, following suit, I sold my wood miser sawmill to a buddy of mine here on the Gulf Coast. My dad then got my Timber King 1400 mill, and I purchased this Timber King 2000 mill with a diesel. Again, the trend is I'm a diesel guy. I like anything with diesels, especially my sawmills. The fuel economy, uh, the power, the, the torque, uh, the longevity of the engine, the, all those things are great about a diesel. If you want to know more about diesel sawmills, check out some of the other videos. But, you know, long story short, again, I never thought I'd have the ability to own this sawmill uh, at my age. I thought I would have been retired, and this would have been like a retirement, you know, gift to myself. So now I've been cutting with this mill for about a year and a half, and this mill has been phenomenal. I absolutely love this mill. It is literally my dream mill. And here recently, we got another mill to complement this. We got a, a Lucas mill. It's a DSM uh, 23 
which is a dedicated slabber mill, and the 23 is a 23 horsepower. So, I hear the kids yelling in the background. You never know what's gonna happen here. But uh, the, the slabber mill and this mill together, there's really nothing I, I can't handle under 21 foot in length. The slabber mill allows me to cut 76 inches wide. This mill I cut 35 wide, but this right here is a production mill. So I'm turning out wood all the time. In fact, I've got an order right here on the mill that there's a bird flying around, but I've got an order right here on the mill um, that I'm, I'm sending out hopefully tomorrow afternoon when I get home from work. If you have any questions about sawmills, about tractors right now, I'm running a Massey Ferguson 2705E, but I've had John Deere's in the past. If you have questions about sawmills, tractors, goat, uh, dairy goats, my wife's going to answer any questions on that because that's that's her thing. She needs to really go to dairy goats. Uh, we milk those goats. We make soap. We do cheese. We're going to start filming some stuff on that this year too. But the, really, the channel, we're trying to grow the channel to show all the experiences that we experience on a daily basis. So there's been videos where I've caught um, snapping turtles, which is fun. I've never handled a snapping turtle, but I've seen some videos online I'm like, yeah, I can do that. I didn't get bit. I just got the crap cut out of me with his claws. Um, my wife handles uh, the snakes that we find around the property. So we have a couple rat snakes we see on a regular occurrence. And just the other day, if you check out my latest mill, the uh, latest video on the, the Lucas mill, you'll see she's handling a seven foot rat snake that she happened to find by the chicken coop. Uh, we have all sorts of weird things that happen on the farm. Uh, we are gonna start showing some videos of our past hunting season. And hopefully this year, if everything goes well, end of May, we'll be going up to Missouri and we'll be going mushroom hunting, morel mushrooms. So we're going to do some videos on that. Uh, it's an exciting channel. I hope you enjoy what we're showing you and try to keep it new and interesting. So if there's anything you'd like to see, let us know. We also go into a lot of maintenance on equipment. So tractor maintenance, sawmill maintenance. When we have breakdowns, we go over what the issue was and how to fix the issue. I want this to be a good informational video for people to learn from, and also a good video where people can review or look at reviews of equipment and say, hey, is that the piece of equipment for me? And I can talk about the equipment. If you have questions, I can say, hey, this is good for this application, this is, this, this is good for that type of application. Uh, we also have a series that we're running right now called Searching for Sawmills. We've done the first three episodes. Uh, episode four will be recording here hopefully soon, and I'll be editing and put that out. But it, we're looking at all different types of sawmills from homemade sawmills to store-bought sawmills, from band sawmills to circle sawmills, you name it. Uh, we wanna show what's out there and I am, my heart is with the Timber King. I love my Timber King mills. I think they're a fantastic product, a fantastic company, customer service is bar none, in my opinion, the best. But I look at every type of sawmill out there. I've run about six or seven different types of sawmills, so I feel pretty comfortable uh, around the mill and understanding the way that a mill works. So. Again, informational channel, and I want people to uh, experience uh, kind of what we experience around the farm. But if you have questions or comments, please let us know. Uh, please like, subscribe. We recently monetized a channel, and that really monetization of that channel or this channel is to hopefully upgrade some of my equipment so I can have a better viewing experience for the viewers. Uh, I like comments, positive or negative. There are some people that do write that I talk too much and a little less talk, a, little less talk, a lot more action. Folks, I'm, I'm a talker. I'm going to be a talker. That's just how I am. And everything's usually shot in like one shot, one take. If I have to shoot a second take, I start getting irritated. And it's just not good video quality. So I like to do, I'm a one shot wonder when it comes to shooting these videos. Hopefully it's good. And hopefully I edit out some of the crap. But yeah, we'll see. Again, thank you for uh, checking the channel out. If you like it, stick around. Like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you around. Thanks.